I really, I really want to do the prayer journal because, you know, prayer, prayer is the one thing that has helped me. But I do want to say this because I think a lot of times, um, and, and I'll say this for me in the beginning, we can think that's the only thing that we have to do, but you got to do more than pray. <laughs> you know, you have to do, you have to put some action behind it too. But, um, Prayer, praying prayers, my prayers have changed. Like they're, ve- I'm very strategic, and mm-hmm. this is why I tell people, and I'm just like I' gonna yell it from the rooftop. You have to have a relationship, an individual relationship with God, and you have to start to study the Word on your own. Yes, podcast, your pastor, your all the. Social media can be great um, supplements to that, but that is the one thing and you cannot skip relationship like you can't skip that. And and people I don't think people really fully understand that if you have the you need that relationship so God can, you know, give you help you with what's going on in your life, which is the whole point. Like you won't you want God to help you with what's going on with you. And there's no way to do that unless, you know, you're actually spending time with him and, you know, you're talking to him and telling God, this is what's going on with me in my marriage. God, this is what's going on with me and my job. God, this is what's going on with me and my friends. And it's just somehow the Holy Spirit just kind of guides you to the word that helps you and guides (laughs) you, you know, that you can do to help you in those areas of your life. You know, that's. It, it's it's once I figured that out, I was like, the game is just all changed. And what I noticed is based on what's going on in my life and based on what I need, I structured my prayers around that. And so mm-hmm. I wasn't praying for um, some random stuff. I would be like, God, this is what I'm dealing with. And I would write my prayer down. Like, and I'll just t- take, for instance, um, me lacking the self-confidence because of dealing with my alopecia. One of the prayers that I prayed was God help me to see myself the way you see me. And so that was a real prayer for me because it I I knew I didn't I wasn't seeing myself the way God saw me. And so then I started focusing on what he said about me. I found scriptures where he's where he says, I'm fearfully and wonderful, wonderfully made. I'm I'm above and not beneath. I'm the the head and not the tail. I'm I'm loyal. I'm salt. I'm light. You know, you really have to focus on those things. And I started writing affirmations. I am, you know, bold. I am confident. I am, you know, beautiful I am you know just the I am you yeah. know because <laughs> I am means it shall come to pass you know yeah. I just started I just started doing that so that was real for me and um I see so many people on um social media and they're you know I just be want to like if you would just if you would just trust God you know I say it all the time I share it all the time but um I don't think people they they they'll say things like I just I don't know what else to do I want to I need help and I'm like God is your source God is your that's who you need yeah. that's and that's how I can tell that they haven't gotten to that uh certain point of that relationship because once you get there it's like it's hard it's hard to unsee or do anything I I when once you're here like the only way you can not is if you just kind of drift away you know, from God and whatever. But if as long as you stay close, which is why yeah. he said to come close to me, right. you know, <laughs> you know, if you come close to me, I'm going to come, come close to you. So, um, but yeah, yeah. The, my prayers like changed. And, um, the one thing that I want to say, um, once I read, you know, the parable in Luke 18 and then, also, you know, Thessalonian, um, I believe it's 517 that says never stop praying. And that you you literally never, ever means never. So it means never stop praying. And so I just started thinking in my head, like, why, why would God say never stop praying? And then when you go to read, you know, the parable of the lady and the judge um, in Luke 18, 
it tells you, you know, keep praying. Eventually your prayer is going to get answered. Yeah. You got to stop praying. And then also, you know, reading Daniel and learning that your prayers can be blocked. So that's one reason why you got to keep praying too, you know. Right. So, um, you know, the, the the prince of darkness, Satan himself, you know, can, can be blocking your prayers. Because from what I understand, God answers our, our prayers immediately, you know. It's just, you know, how they get to us and get answered. That's that's the thing. So, um, but yeah. 